Now, once you've imported your contacts, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is add all the customers who weren't in your contacts in the first place. So again, if they have a kid who you imported earlier as a friend, you can go to brainstorm, click add, and just copy and paste their number in there. But for most of these people, and when you start getting referrals down the line, you're going to want to click this add button up here. Now, if they're personal contacts, you check that switch and you can add all of the contacts that you want here all at once. Let's say Mrs. Jones is a star here. And there's tags here that I can use in order to distinguish people by where they live or any other attributes that I might want to. So let's say I have friends in Bergen County where I'm from uh, and also potentially customers on Long Island, which I don't want to be seeing at the same time, like during the same day. So I'll make a new tag for Bergen County and I'll add that one to Mrs. Jones. And the next person I input, Mrs. Smith. And then let's say the last person is actually from Long Island. I can add that there. And then if I had more people, I could just click add more tiles. But for now, I'm just going to import these three. And of course, if they were recommended by someone, I would put that recommender right here in the referred by. But for now, let's say their personal contacts. We'll save them. And then you can see they're all added right here. And I can filter by the people who are tagged as Burton County and the people that are tagged as Long Island. And that's how you add more contacts.